Say uh, to God be the glory. Appreciate him the opportunity he's given us each and every day. Um, proud of our football team. Um, played hard. Did a lot of good things uh, this game. Did a lot of great things for this whole football season. I'm proud of. Got to give a lot of credit to Bill Noble. They're a very good football team. Congratulations to Coach Tower and their whole football team, and uh, hope them for the for the best. So just uh, hurtful for our, our football team, our fans. I want to thank our fans. Tremendous, tremendous. Thank you. Thank you, fans. Uh, that's a great deal. They're a six, seven hour drive to come up here and show their support for us. Uh, I love them. I thank them. I'm grateful on behalf of all our whole football team and our staff. Uh, we'll, we'll come back next year and give them some more great things and great football. And I want to say thank you for all our fans. Thanks, Coach. We'll open it up for questions. Coach, lowest offensive output of the season. Uh, what was it schematically going on with Villanova that, that made it so difficult to move the ball? Uh, basically, their guys uh, beat us up front. Uh, uh, they were better than us. Uh, with their D-line, their linebackers, uh, we were not able to uh, get any great uh, advantage against them, so we got to give a great job by them. Again, we always talked about our whole line or D-line have to win the battle and have to say, unfortunately, in the fourth quarter particularly, um, uh, their, their defensive line beat our offensive line. Their offensive line beat our defensive <coughs> line in the fourth quarter, and that was the difference in the ball. Not getting any ends of the in two the front. Not getting the two touchdowns when you're inside the five. There, how much is that? Oh, that was a big factor. Big factor in the ball game. They made a whole lot of difference in the ball game, and I think things would have been played a little bit different if you had to take four more points versus getting three points. We score a touchdown, that's four more points on the board, and I think the game would have been a little bit different in how we all would have done some things of that nature. Uh, again, hindsight is always 20 20 on things, and maybe I should have went forward on the fourth down there, uh, third or fourth and one. Uh, but, but again, I give our credit to Bill Noble. Uh, they did a great job. Nico, they have an 18 play drive to, to cap the game where they run it on every play. How kind of helpless was the feeling if they're you know, pounding yards, yard, yards off you there? I mean, yeah, we just got to um, give them credit for what they did. I think they came on the second half. Uh, and they wanted to run the ball, and um, we're going to shoot up time off the clock as well. I think they were just able to do that. Uh, they ran some midline and different things, and um, yeah, we just weren't able to stop them. I think um, the games are one and lost in the trenches, and uh, if their offensive line are, you know, creating things on us, then chances are they're going to win the ball game. We're stopping them, then, um, then we have to give our team a chance to win the ball game. So we just did that, executed what they wanted to do very well. How good is Roberts? Say again. How good is Roberts? Oh, very good. Very good. Uh, one of the best we've seen. So. Very work broke down the two long uh, one-on-one pass plays that they, that they were able to hit on either. Oh, their guy just made a play. You know, uh, the receiver, the number four, made them both. Um, he made the play when he needed to make it, uh, and our defensive guys didn't make the play. Uh, our guys were there. It wasn't like we you know, had a plus coverage or anything of that nature. Uh, their guy made the play. We always talk about it. You know, be that guy that's going to make the play. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out for us this time. Um, Josh or, or Coach, uh, Gabe Henderson was pretty instrumental the last two weeks uh, for you guys. I think tonight he had 23, 24 yards, something like that, three catches. Um, you think they were out there taking that away, or was it just a different game plan this week? Uh, you know, honestly, you know, we didn't execute very well on third down tonight. I don't know what our 5 17, yeah, that's not very good at all. So, um, uh, weather may have factor, may not have, but um, you know he's usually a big third down guy for us. And you know tonight we just didn't execute on third down very well. Coach, would you say to your guys in the locker room after the game? Oh, I just told them I'm proud of them and uh, appreciate all the things that they've done this whole football season. <coughs> uh, a lot of great things have been accomplished. Uh, you know we have high expectations here. And obviously we're not satisfied the way it ended, uh, but I am proud of them. And, 
and again, we'll learn from this and keep moving forward. And uh, they've set a great standard here for the next uh, for the future of our football program. Josh, why, why do you feel like the offense kind of uh, only three points there in the second half? What kind of slowed you, you guys down there in the second half? Uh, you know, uh, just mental mistakes, really. Uh, we started running the ball, you know, not very well. We were running the ball a lot better in the first half than we did in the second half, and then that made it. Um, you know, go backwards in the chain to so them. We were, you know, behind the sticks, and uh, then they knew we had to throw, and they were just playing base coverage and, and whatnot. So, um, you know, really, first and second down kind of killed us in the in the second half, and they just did a good job of making adjustments. Do you have any more questions for Coach Gillard, the student athletes? Nick, how different was Robertson than some of the other quarterbacks you saw this year with his ability to, to really extend plays more so than some of these other guys you saw? Uh, he was similar to. Um, Alex Ross from Coastal and also uh, Bad Lee from uh, J uh, James Madison, uh, dual threat quarterbacks. But, you know, throw the ball very bad, th very well, and also can run, can make you miss, can create things, create something out of nothing. And I think that we did a good job containing them uh, more than other teams have, especially in the first half. Uh, but I think in the second half, he just you know, he was able to make make plays. He was able to extend drives, extend plays, and um, in a, a few situations we weren't able to get him on the ground and tackle him. Um, so I think. Uh, He's good. He's really good, and um, I believe even he'll have a future probably after uh, being done playing here at Villanova. So we just got to give him credit for uh, what they did. Coach, what are these last three weeks and last two two wins, the last two games before this one, mean for the future of the program? Well, I think it. Uh, I would believe it made us relevant, um, particularly in the FCS uh, college football, that people recognize Liberty's football program as a program that. Um, is uh, very good and uh, can play with anybody uh, in the country. And uh, hope we've shown that to people that uh, we do have talent. Uh, we do have a great fan base. Uh, we have great leadership in our program and our university. And uh, I think that's what it's done during these last two or three ball games. Any other questions? Coach Field, Villanova did make the plays late in the game and won the game. But in, in a way, do you feel like you kind of let a victory slip away today? You lose, you always let the victory slip away. There's no question about it. You lost, you lost. You know, whether it's one point, whether it's 10, 30 points, or whatever. You know, again, I gotta get a lot of credit to Villanova. Uh, we didn't play quite as well, but a lot of it had to do with them. And uh, again, we'll learn from this, we'll move forward, and we'll become better uh, because of the situation that occurred here today. But again, we got a lot to be proud of. Uh, we're not gonna hang our head. I'm be disappointed uh, as far as in the loss, uh, but I'm very proud of what we've accomplished here this football season. Okay, thank you very much, Coach. <clears throat>